We love to imagine life as a series of choices until that framework just doesn't work anymore, until there's a diagnosis, until you didn't have uh, that kid that you hoped you'd have, you didn't get that relationship, something broke. You're caregiving for your parents, you're, you didn't get that job, the, the world suddenly descends into you know, a global earth plague, hypothetically. That there are befores and afters and we can't go back. Then what? Our culture has a story that we're, that we're always supposed to be able to, to transform our lives into good, better, best. That there should always be a silver lining. That everything's always going to add up. We lose things all the time that we're not going to get back. But does that mean that things can't be beautiful and good and true? How do we live in to the truth of our lives, which is that most of it is the crap we can't fix? What then? I started writing No Cure for Being Human a while back when I realized that I didn't have enough language or categories to think about how to live. What happens when your life is just not going to be able to follow the formula? You know, it's always a little sad when you realize that the world does love us better when we are good, better, best. But I am here to look into your beautiful eyes and tell you that it is okay that life isn't always getting better. It can be good and lovely and full of humor and friends and joy and meaning and truth. But there's no magical fix because your finitude, your fragility, your life coming apart, like you are not the problem. It's just that life is a chronic condition and there's no cure for being human. It's just this again today. <laughs> it's about embracing our finitude. It's about learning to live with courage. It's about finding hope in the fact that we are not actually just a series of choices as if all those little choices were dominoes and oh no, what if it all falls apart? I hope you'll read along. Uh, it's available for pre-order wherever you get your books and um, I promise it includes a lot of humiliating details about my life that I will reveal gradually. It also includes the name of every person who's ever broken up with me that I like to just intersperse slowly throughout all my literature. So if you wonder if it's you, make sure you buy first. <laughs>